be talking about git ignore files. So basically what a git ignore file will do is tell git that you do not want to track this file. A lot of times this will be used for things like configs or some type of private variables that you don't want the world to see. Um, because a lot of times they'll push your code open source, but there's certain things, let's say like Firebase keys or AWS keys that you don't want everyone to see. So GitHub actually includes a bunch of uh, basic default ones that a lot of languages include for files you don't necessarily need, such as compiled files or things like that. For example, when you have SAS, you don't need the compiled CSS because that's not what's going to be edited. Or um, for other things, you might not need like the compiled version of TypeScript for uh, like JavaScript, don't need those files, you just need the TypeScript files. So you can go through here and start off with some default ones. Additionally, a lot of IDEs such as Xcode will include in their own um, will include their own git ignore files. So you don't need to worry too much, but if there's extra files you don't want to include, it's good to know how to do that. So for example, if you're using Swift, here's like a default Swift one that you can include. It'll get rid of all of these unnecessary files or files that shouldn't necessarily be tracked because Xcode itself will make them when you create it. So we're going to create our own project today. We're just going to call it git ignore. And then inside here, we're going to create um, some secret info we don't want shared. We'll save that as secret.txt inside of our git ignore project. Right, so here's our secret file. When we push it to GitHub, we don't want it to be seen. So we'll start off by initializing our Git repository. Oop, CD, uh, git ignore. And then we will do git init. So now we have our Git repository. And you'll see if I type git status, it'll show you which files are currently untracked. Um, that's going to be added when we do git add. And it says our secret.txt. But we don't want that to go on version control. So instead, what we're going to do is we are going to create uh, git ignore file. So um, inside here, we can just specify which files we don't want to be tracked. So we don't want secret.txt to be tracked, right? So we'll save this as dot git ignore. Uh, we're going to make sure to uncheck this because we just want it dot git ignore, not dot git ignore dot txt. We'll save it in our, our root directory. You'll see we have a git ignore file here now. Now when I type git status, You'll notice that the secret.txt is no longer being tracked, that git does not see that anymore, but our git ignore file is being seen. So now we can safely do git add dot, git commit, added git ignore. And you'll see it's only one file change with one insertion, and that is our dot git ignore file. If though, let's say we have a folder and we say this is called secrets, and then inside our secrets folder we have we can create a new file with more secret info. We'll save this as more secrets.txt. Oops, uh, put that in the wrong folder, but we can go over here. Actually, let's duplicate this. Let's say we have two files called more secrets. Oop, okay, I'll, I'll drag this one in here. And then over here, we'll get rid of more secrets.txt. So now you'll see if I do get status, we have more secrets.txt and secrets slash. Um, and inside that we have more secrets.txt. Let's say we want the more secrets in our default one right here, but we don't want to track this one. We want everyone to see this more secrets, but not see this one. Inside of our git ignore, we can open that up and we can add secrets slash more secrets secrets.txt. This, uh, this will tell git that we do want to track this secret. Well, we're not ignoring it. And this one we are going to ignore right here. And now we can check git status. Uh, and the only thing that is there is more secrets.txt. If we do add another file, if we, let's say, duplicate this, and we just call this ABC, and then we run git status, you'll see that secrets now has files. But when we run git add, that will not be there. You can see that by doing git add dot, git commit dash m more files and you'll see three files will change our secrets our abc and our more secrets oh and our get ignore sorry abc more secrets and get ignore but this more secrets file was not added that's all thank you